Hello, everybody. How oh, well can you hear? Yes, listen here, listen here. Hey, hey, everybody, listen here. I want to tell a story about this encyclopedia. What we gonna teach? What we gonna learn? What we gonna read right now? Yes, it's rhyming skills without rhymes. It's the only musical here. We can speak with you with the useful information. Yes, and it's for children and for foreigners and for everybody who are who is living in the dormitory. Dormitory, like, am I? Like, I'm? Yes. No. Like, I'm live. I am living. I live. Yes. And be cool, be strong. It's motivation before we are studied. Let's listen here. Our motivation for learning human body body encyclopedia. If you will learn, you will be great. Yes, small motivation. Let's li listen to it. Listen here. When you shout, you send out invisible sound waves uh, through the air. Your ears pick up the waves and transmit the sound to your brain. Oh gosh. The speed of sound. We don't notice the slight delay between someone's lips moving and the sound actually reaching our ears. It's too fast. Notice the slight delay. Delay. Small delay, yes. How well can you hear? Your hearing range is from the highest to a lowest note that you can hear. Adults have quite a small range compared to other animals. Children hear higher notes than Adults, your range shrinks with age. Shrinks, oh my gosh. Cats, dogs and rabbits can hear much higher notes than people. Pets have excellent hearing. Their range is five times as large as ours. Cool. Sounds travels through the air or sounds travels through the headphones feed different sounds into each ear so you feel as if you you're surrounded by instrument, okay? White to ear. Sound normally reach one ear first and then the other. This helps you, our brain work out where sounds are coming from and how far away they are. Cool. Yes, it's like locating moments. Why do do we have ear wax? Wax? What is wax? Need to translate it one moment. Wax. Chris, fax, fax. Wax uh, is uh... wax. Da, 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 da. Ah, maybe is uh, for protecting. One moment. To protect, yes. Outer ear. What we call the ear is really just the pair, the part that we can see. Sounds are collected here and funneled in words. A little help, partier. Partially, deaf people may use hearing aids. This make the sounds entering, entering the ear louder and easier to hear. Middle ear. Sounds arriving here from the outer ear cause the eardrum to vibrate and set off movements in three tiny little bones. Outer ear. Ear canal. Bones. Cochlea. Inner ear. Middle ear. Eardrum. Either ear to boom boom, air to ear. Okay, inner ear, inner ear. The bones moving cause vibration in the liquid deep inside the ear. Tiny hairs in your inner ear, inner ear, pick up this vibration in the liquid around them. The hairs, tiny hairs. Wow, in the liquids around them. The hair are attached to nerves which connect to your brain. Tiny hairs are moved by sounds. Signals travel travel along these nerves to the brain. Balancing act. As well as hearing, ears help you balance. Sensors in your ears work with those in your eyes, muscles, joints and feet to let your brain know your body's position. The three semicircular canal deal with balance, ear hole. Okay. Watch your step. Keep in track. Deep inside your ear are three tiny tubes filled with fluid. They detect the movement your body is making and let your brain know about them. One tube is for forward and backward movement, another for up and down, and the third for side to side movements. Wow. 
Cool. A jelly-like knob floats in each tube. Inside it are sensitive hairs that detect movement. Can astronauts learn to balance in space? I think... Yes, but we have zero gravity. The movements travel along the hairs through a nerve to the brain. Watch your step, keeping your balance while walking along a narrow wall takes a lot of concentration. You are responding to information coming from your eyes, muscles and ears at the same time. Okay? Yes. But it can take a con a couple of days to learn how. Motion sickness. Traveling in a car, boat or plane can make you feel ill. Your eyes tell your brain that you're staying still in the vehicle, but your body says it can feel movement. This confusion is what causes motion sickness. Wow, I understand right now. Motion sickness is when you are traveling, but your body in the place of safety. Safe, say in the safe place. Basically, your brain is the bus. Yes, basically. The more you practice, the better you will be at balancing. Cool. Muscle messages. When you move, sensors in your muscles send message to your brain. If a movement isn't going right, your brain will make you do things differently. The brain. <laughs> okay. First, make sure there is nothing unsafe nearby for you to crash into. Then spin around and around and make yourself feel dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you feel dizzy? The liquid in the tubes of your ear is like water in a cup. When you spin, it continues to slosh around for a while. It continues to slosh around for a while even after you've stopped. After you have stopped, your brain gets confused about which way around you are and you feel dizzy as a result. Dizzy. Wow. Dizzy <laughs> alcohol, man. Crazy dizzy. When you cut yourself what kind of blood vessel does the blood usually come from i think red artery a capillary okay answer oh what is this uh, children pornography or what is blood flow blood is the body transport system popped by the heart it travels around the body in tubes called blood vessels, delivering vital supplies to keep your cells alive. Blood picks up oxygen from the lungs and carries it around the rest of the body. Tube transport. Blood leaves the heart in large blood vessels called arteries, and it returns in vessels called veins. Between the arteries and veins are tiny vessels called capillaries. Artery. Each major organ has an artery bringing fresh blood and a vein carrying away used blood. Vein, capillary. The aorta is the biggest blood vessel in your body. It is as thick as your thumb. Aorta. Okay. Well, aorta is wide enough to swim through. The vena cava is your biggest vein. Vena cava. Okay, around the body. Blood travels around your body, passing through organs on the way. It picks up oxygen in the lungs and food in the liver, then gets rid of waste in the kidney. Capillaries. Arteries split into smaller and smaller branches. Eventually, they turn into capillaries, which are thinner than hairs. Capillaries lead into veins, which join together and get bigger on the way back to the heart. Capillaries, arteries, veins, vein, artery, and there are about 100,000 kilometers of blood vessels in your body. Wow, many. On breathing, become an expert on breathing in and out pages, on air and oxygen pages. From red to blue, the color of blue depends on how much oxygen it can take up. Oxygen rich blood in arteries is brilliant red. Oxygen pure blood in veins is dark. Purplish red shown blue on the diagram. Wow! Need more oxygen. Oxygen pure blood 
is black or blue? In veins is dark, purplish red. Wow. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, let's read it. It will be our last paragraph. Boom, boom. Your heart is a pump that pushes blood around your whole body. Each time your heart beats, it squirts out a small cup full of blood and feels for the next beat. Where is it? Your heart is in the middle of your chest, squeezed between the two lungs. You can feel its beat just left of the bone in the middle of your chest. Blood goes out to the lungs. <laughs> One side pumps blood to the lungs. Jesus, you're so funny. <laughs> Double pump. Your heart is really two pumps in one. One half pumps blood through one lungs and the other half pumps blood around the rest of your body. Blood from most of the body enters through the vena cava. Blood goes out to the body through the aorta. Blood from most of the body enters through the vena cava. Wow. One side pumps blood to the lungs. Blood comes in from the lungs. Blood goes out to the of to the lungs. Vena aorta. Blood came from the body. Blood goes out to the body. How many times does your heart beat in a year? I think that. One minute need to one minute by sixty minutes by twenty four hours by three six five days. It will be about forty million times. Wow. One way system to keep blood flowing one way. Only your heart and most veins contains valves. Your heartbeat is the sound of valves shutting when your heart squeezes. Squeezes. Oh, pam pam. Blood goes out to the lungs. Blood comes in from the lungs. Valves stop blood flowing backward. So, curiosity quiz. Uh, take a look through the heart and blood pages and see if you can spot any of the cells and tissues below. I don't know. It's something like uh, animals from the sea. It's... Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know. But this is a uh, point. No. It's something on your body. Object. Object on your body when you have pain or you maybe touched the surface. And the other pumps blood everywhere else. Beating faster. Muscles need extra blood when you're active. So your heart speeds up. It beats about 70 times a minute if you're resting, but up to 200 times a minute if you're running. Find your pulse by pressing two fingers on your wrist. You should be able to feel a gentle throb as your heart pumps blood around your body. Whoa! Well, all about blood will be in the next serial. Oh, Jesus. Let's watch it in the next time. Okay, it's white blood cells and platelets. Oh, Jesus. I don't like blood. Ah! We will see it in the next time. All about blood. Okay. Let's learn it in the next time. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Be cool, be strong and improve yourself with uh, this human body encyclopedia. Encyclopedia makes your dreams come true yes and uh, you can create too if you will reading yeah thanks so much bye bye see ya